The manufacturing process for high-voltage coils involves several complex steps that require precision and attention to detail. The process typically starts with the selection of appropriate materials, including copper wire, insulation materials, and various adhesives and coatings. The first step in the manufacturing process involves winding the copper wire into a specific shape and size. This is done using specialized winding machines that can handle the high voltage requirements of the coil. The winding process requires extreme accuracy to ensure that the coil has the correct number of turns and is wound tightly enough to maintain its shape and strength. Once the copper wire is wound into the desired shape, the next step is to insulate it using a variety of materials. This is essential to prevent electrical arcing and ensure that the coil can withstand the high voltages it will be exposed to. The insulation materials used can include various types of polymers, resins, and tapes, all of which are chosen for their ability to withstand high temperatures and resist electrical breakdown. After the insulation has been applied, the coil is typically coated with a protective layer of varnish or resin. This helps to further insulate the coil and protect it from moisture and other environmental factors. The coating process must be done carefully to ensure that the coating is applied evenly and that all areas of the coil are covered. Finally, the coil is subjected to a series of tests to ensure that it meets the required electrical and mechanical specifications. These tests can include high voltage and insulation resistance testing, as well as checks for physical integrity and dimensional accuracy. Any coils that do not meet the required specifications are rejected and must be reworked or discarded. A steam turbine is a device that extracts thermal energy from pressurized steam and converts it into mechanical energy to generate electricity. It consists of several components such as rotors, blades, casings, bearings, and seals that are assembled in a precise manner to ensure optimal performance and longevity. The assembly process of a steam turbine typically involves several stages, starting with the preparation of the components. The components are first inspected for any defects, cleaned, and lubricated before assembly. The quality of each component is crucial to ensure the overall reliability and efficiency of the turbine. The next stage is the assembly of the rotor and blades. The rotor is the central rotating part of the turbine that supports the blades. The blades are carefully inserted into slots on the rotor, and the entire assembly is balanced to prevent any vibrations during operation. The blades are also adjusted to the correct angle and pitch to optimize the efficiency of the turbine. The casings are then assembled around the rotor and blades to form the turbine.
The casings are designed to withstand high temperatures and pressures and are usually made of thick steel or other durable materials. The internal components are aligned and secured in place. Bearings and seals are then installed to support the rotor and prevent steam leakage. The bearings are designed to reduce friction and support the weight of the rotor while allowing it to rotate freely. The seals are used to prevent steam from escaping and damaging other components of the turbine. Once the turbine is assembled, it is thoroughly tested to ensure that it meets the required performance standards. This involves running the turbine at different loads and speeds to measure its efficiency and output. Any issues are addressed and corrected before the turbine is commissioned for operation. Rewinding a large motor is a complex process that requires expertise, precision, and attention to detail. At Koffler Electrical Facilities in San Leandro, California, this process is done with incredible scale and complexity. Koffler specializes in the repair and maintenance of large motors, and their team of experts is equipped to handle even the most challenging projects. The motor featured in this video is used to power a pump that removes water from a submarine dry dock facility at Pearl Harbor. This motor is massive, with a weight of over 20,000 pounds and a horsepower of 3,000. When it arrived at Koffler, it was in need of rewinding, servicing, and testing to ensure it could continue to perform its critical function. The rewinding process involves removing the old coils from the motor and replacing them with new ones. KOFFLER's team of experts carefully measures the motor and creates custom wire coils that are the exact size needed. These coils are then painstakingly installed by hand, ensuring they are precisely placed and secured in the motor. Once the new coils are in place, the motor is subjected to a vacuum pressure impregnation VIP, process. This process ensures that the coils are completely sealed and protected from moisture and other contaminants. Koffler is one of the few facilities in the country that has the equipment and expertise to perform this crucial step in the motor rewinding process. After the VIP process is complete, the motor is thoroughly tested to ensure it is functioning properly. Koffler has a state-of-the-art testing facility that can simulate the motor's operating conditions to ensure it can perform at maximum efficiency. The team of experts at Koffler takes pride in ensuring that every motor they work on is thoroughly tested and meets the highest standards of quality and performance. The process of rewinding a large motor is a complex and challenging one, but the team at Koffler Electrical Facilities in San Leandro, California is up to the task. Their expertise, precision, and attention to detail ensure that every motor they work on is restored to peak performance. The use of web videos to showcase their unique capabilities is an excellent way for Koffler to communicate their expertise to their customers and prospects. The videos provide an efficient and effective way to tell the story of the motor rewinding process, showcasing the scale, complexity, teamwork, and know-how required to get the job done right.